Good morning, YouTube. All right, I'm gonna take you back all the way to the 1930s and give you an old school classic. We're gonna show you how to make chicken divan, a dish that always makes me think of my great aunt. But this time, we're doing it easy, simple, getting rid of some leftovers, but making a brand new luscious casserole. All right, let's cook y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, let's start our casserole. I love this stuff. Love it. All right, so we're gonna start pretty basic. Um, I made a bechamel, and I'll, I'll put a link through to the video if you need to see it from all the way through. But basically, the bechamel was two tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons, nope, two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk, okay? So I made a bechamel, and that's just sitting back here waiting to go. And over here, I've got about a tablespoon of, what was that stuff? Olive oil. <laughs> ding, ding, I got it right. Um, just for some flavor. Add about a tablespoon of butter. Now, yes, you can do this with cream of mushroom soup in the can. I grew up with that. I've got, I've got some, like, a stash, <laughs> a secret stash of cream of mushroom soup in the back cupboard for an emergency. But honestly, if I've got all the stuff, I'm gonna make it fresh, okay? Taste butter. <clears throat> Richer. All right, so that was one, two, three, four, five of uh, these things. Time, fresh time. Five stalks of fresh time. I said, listen, I think I'm <sighs> going senile. My brain's not working. All right, then right here, I have a couple things. I've got one white onion. Let's see. One white onion that I dice. About eight ounces of baby uh, Bella mushrooms, cremini mushrooms that I uh, just sliced up. And these are gonna go in here with the fresh thyme, the butter, and the olive oil. And this is gonna get about seven or eight minutes. We're gonna let the mushrooms release all their liquid and then start absorbing all the liquid back because that's kind of just how mushrooms work. So with that fresh thyme, I'd like to put in about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Maybe a touch more than that. Two teaspoons. <clears throat> and lots of fresh black pepper. Now. This. Oh, wait. Hear it? Okay. He's getting started. We're going to give that you know, seven minutes or so. Maybe as long as 10, I don't know. It depends on what I get distracted by. And then here's our bechamel waiting on us right back here. And then we also have, let me show you some other things real quick, just so you can get yours ready in the meantime. So three and a half, four cups of leftover chicken that I cubed up. Love this recipe. About every three weeks, I end up with leftover chicken and a couple of cups of leftover broccoli. I actually blanched this broccoli. I'm pretending like I had it all organized and ready to go. I didn't. I blanched it. But it's great for leftover broccoli. Then, what is that? 16 ounces of cheddar cheese that I grated. Now I have a mouthful of broccoli. A couple tablespoons of butter. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then, you know, your, oh, half a cup of sour cream. The rest of it is your usual cast of characters. Salt and pepper. Okay. Find your wooden spoon, right here, not a spoon, your wooden implement, give it a stir. All right, y'all, that's all we're doing for the next seven or eight minutes. All right, so I actually got distracted, <laughs> imagine that. I got on the phone, so I turned this off, but it had a good 10 minutes. See, it's nice. Mushrooms released all the liquid and kind of soaked it all back up again. Onions are nice and soft and fragrant. All right, so now I just got all the heat going back again, so we're gonna pull everything together. Ta-da! All right, so I have a casserole dish, a nice big one. And we're just gonna give it a spray. This is a nine by 13, and I have the oven at um, 350 degrees. Now, once you've done, you know, your little fiddly bits over here, the rest of this just goes together in no time whatsoever. All right, so I'm gonna open my sour cream. And actually, I think I said half a cup. 
You know what, y'all? It's however much you like. <laughs> if you want more, use more. That's fine. I always get a little generous with my half cups. It's usually a bit more than that. Eh. We're gonna call that three quarters and walk away. Yeah. Here is that over there. Our bechamel, which kind of got a little got a little too tight while we were waiting. <laughs> That's fine, it'll loosen right back up, not a problem. And if it's still too tight, once you've got it nice and warm again, just splash a little milk in there. The bechamel is uh, pretty flippin' versatile. And all that really does is it's just the kind of the binder that holds everything together. All right, so with the sour cream and the Bechamel, the mushrooms, and the onions. We still have that thyme in there, y'all. So, see? Get nice and rich and creamy. Now, I gave the bechamel a nice bit of seasoning. A little garlic pepper, or not garlic pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, a little nutmeg. But here is a good time to give it a taste. It needs a tiny bit of salt. I'm gonna give it a teaspoon for the whole batch. Anyway, give it a taste now, because this is your chance to correct seasonings. All right, so to this, we are going to go ahead and add our broccoli and our chicken. Chicken the van came out of our, I think I'm gonna, all right, I'm either gonna give you a history lesson. <laughs> We're gonna make this up entirely. I think this is right. <sighs> I think Chicken Divan came out of the restaurant scene in New York City right before the Great Depression. I do know that my great aunt, who was a flapper, uh, her name was Florence Lee. How about that for a jazz baby? Um, she talked about Chicken Divan like it was the most elegant thing in the world. Now, of course, we think of it as just like a a casserole you throw together on a weeknight, right? When you don't have any time. And that's fine too. Oh, look, I waited too long. My butter solidified. Let me stick out the microwave. Anyway, I read an old cookbook. One that came out in the 30s. And Lord have mercy. There were like 9,000 steps to it. There were like, you made a bechamel and I think you made you proceeded to a Mornay, which all you do is add cheese to a bechamel, which we're throwing in most of our cheddar cheese. Um, I think it's, for some reason I'm thinking you made a hollandaise too in the original version. Um, all of which was actually the highlight of the fact that broccoli was kind of an exotic vegetable at that point, which I find vastly amusing. <laughs> all right, so our cheese is in here. And we are mixing this around a little bit. I've still got the heat on, but we're not gonna worry about it too much. We are almost done and ready to throw this in the oven. All right, so our cheese is gonna get stirred in. I'll stir it out. And then right into our casserole dish. Yeah, that's heavy. So at this point, go ahead and remove the thyme. It's not gonna give a whole lot left else to the to the party and it's kind of getting in the way. I'm pretty sure I didn't get all of it. <laughs> I always tell my kids that when they find one, they just make a wish, right? So then they don't look at it and go, mom, you left that in there. They think, hey, yay, lucky day. That's me being lazy. Okay, so spread that out. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so one cup of the cheese left. 
that's going over the top to make a crust. Finally, we have about a quarter cup, maybe half a cup, panko breadcrumbs, and our two tablespoons of butter that we melted. when casseroles get bubbly. <laughs> Ta-da! You see the bubbles? We gotta have a closer look at that. That's what you're looking for. That's perfect. All right, right at, I don't know, 30, 35, 45 minutes? You want it to look like that. All right, now you do have to let it rest at this point. Give it about 10 minutes. I'm trying to cover up the camera. Give it about 10 minutes. Let all the goo and the lava settle down. And then you can serve it. However, you know me, I can't wait. So I'm gonna come in here. Ooh. What do I have here? I've got broccoli. I have a mushroom. And I have a piece of chicken. That is a perfect bite. All right, now serve this over rice because you want something that's gonna catch all that cheesy, yummy sauce. And rice is perfect. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Sorry, y'all, I burned my mouth, but mmm. Dang, that's worth it. Mmm. That's how you make a casserole, y'all. Mm. Make that tonight. You'll be glad you did. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching. And if you found any of that helpful, do me a favor. Jump on over to Patreon and check out how you can do even more to support my channel. And as always, you can like and hit subscribe and share on social media. Um, I appreciate all of those things. <laughs>